Now then, with the Union Jacks beginning to fly high, looking well set. There's Lee. He now has a total of 11 points, and providing he makes no big hash of his last ride, he looks well set to become the new World Speedway Champion, and he's only 22. The track, one sensors beginning to just get a little bit of extra top surface as the meeting unfolds. A little bit more dirt there. Michael Lee, this surely is going to be the biggest race of his young career so far. What a meteoric career it's been. Came from nowhere when he was 16. Third in the world final last year. A win here will bring him the, the sports supreme prize. His opponents know that they really have got a hold of Tiger here in Heat 18. There's Zenon Plek from Poland now. He was second last year and Michael Lee was third. What a difference a year has made because poor old Zen's only got one point. Been really troubled by engine problems all evening. The crowd, a large British contingent, 10,000 or more. Are they going to rise to this boy here? Michael Lee. Everything really is in his favour. It's a comparatively easy last ride. The crowd really sense this could be the one to sort it all out. He's on the inside grid here, Mike Lee. He's got John Davis next to him, Chris Morton. He's got two English teammates really to look after him if he needs any looking after. We've got Zenon Fleck on the outside who's done nothing all night on a sick motor. So really, a tremendous chance for Michael Lee. Surely he'll wrap it up here. There's the lineup. The inside grid consistently has been the fastest, although one or two of the gating specialists have leapt out of grid four. Lee will take his time settling down. Surely anything barring a disaster in these next four laps will make him the new world speedway champion. Only three previous winners from England. Is Michael Lee going to bring the crown back to England for the fourth time since the World Speedway Championship started in 1936. Here's Heat 18 and Lee on the inside. And it is Frank Davis who gets away. Lee only wants the second place, of course, here. He's two points clear in the field. John Davis leads it. Lee is in second place and third place. It is Chris Morton and Brennan Flex at the back. It's John Davis from Reading and England. Up front, Michael Lee only needs to hold on the second place. That was a nervous-looking corner there at the bottom end. But this will do if they stay this way. He's sandwiched between two England colleagues, Davis in front and Morton in third place. And it looks like they're settling down to that. Michael Lee will wish to do nothing foolhardy here. A second place will be enough. He's right on John Davis's back wheel as they move into lap number three. Davis moving out as Lee tries to come through on the inside, but pulling away again down the back straight. Davis has already thwarted the hopes of uh, Peter Collins in an earlier ride. But this is just one lap to the world crown for Michael Lee. He's only going to sit back here in second place. Davis obligingly again moves out and uh, then comes back across him. But now Lee goes forward there. And uh, here we have, ladies and gentlemen, the new world speedway champion over the line. And just listen to the crowd. at 22 years of age. Michael Andrew Lee, of course, his father, well-known scrambler, Andy Lee, and they'll be out there now. The Bob from King's Lee and Andy Lee will be there. His mechanics, all his England teammates. The traditional greeting for a new world speedway champion. Glory be, England have done it. We've been in the wilderness a little bit of time. Michael Lee has changed all that, and it's 22. Who's to say he isn't going to go on and win a few more world crimes? Chris Morton in there, you can see, to congratulate him, absolutely bobbed, it looks like a boxing ring here at Peter Collins, there's Ollie Olsen there, a former world champion, two former champions, and Michael Lee joins them on Speedway's list of honour, he's written himself into Speedway history and folklore tonight, Michael Lee, new world Speedway champion from England and King's Lynn, and there we can see him just going past John Davis on the last lap, Davis moves out, Lee is through the gap, didn't really need to do it, but it's typical of this young man, he'll keep racing right to the last. 
down the back straight and yes he's got the extra power moves through mind you John Davis is all that concerned about it because he knows that he's had to give best to the rider who is to be the new world speedway champion Michael Lee over the line his arm goes up in salute and England have the champ Michael Lee, 1980 world champion, it sounds good, how does it sound to you? Oh, it's just unreal, you know, it hasn't sunk in yet, I'll tell you, you know, I just don't know what to say. <laughs> now, the first ride, Mike, really was the tough one. It may have felt that you've blown it there, because you were a second, you had to work hard for that second place. What were your feelings then? Yeah, well, you know, we looked through the program, and it was really my hardest race of the day, and uh, I had the worst gait. So I was happy to get the two points. I had to fight to get past Peter Collins on the last bend and uh, just picked up the two points. And, you know, when you can pick up two points in your hardest race, then things are going all right. Tell us about the track. It seemed to be a little bit of a gator's paradise, yeah. but you were the only man who really was consistently coming through from behind. Yeah, well, I'm not a strong gator, so I have to come from the back, and luckily I did it tonight. <laughs> a lot of people to thank, I know. Obviously, your dad, Andy Lee, this must be a big moment for him, Mike. Yeah, you know, he's so pleased. I, I think he's like me. He just can't get the words out. But there's so many people that have helped me along the way and that you know i can't name them but everyone that's helped thanks you know now what about the future what are the plans well i couldn't tell you that i've got yet i've got to sit down and think about it but obviously you know i've got to have a good thing <laughs> now i mean this title they reckon is worth about a quarter of a million pound in the next 12 months you're 22 years old i mean you might be a speedway millionaire how does that sound well you know anything's possible but the money doesn't really come into it if i could go on earning like i was and be world champion i'd be happy you know the money's not sort of the main factor of it Michael Lee, World Speedway Champion, 1980, our final congratulations.